We begin, ladies and gentlemen, with the microorganisms box. So this is microorganisms that is, hasn't seen a real microbe ever in its life. Okay, so in terms of health and safety, um, we're already one up. Um, what I'm conscious of, this kit was developed in the days of QCA. Does anyone remember QCA? Is anyone prepared to admit that they've been teaching that long? And QCA was great. It gave us a perfect framework for teaching the primary curriculum. Some people found it somewhat boring um, because you ended up doing the same practical year on year. So how could you be enthusiastic after five years of hanging bricks off tights? And we'll come back to bricks off tights later on. Um, but since QCA disappeared and since the change in the primary curriculum, microorganisms is now, I think, officially regarded as non-statutory, in which case you don't have to teach it. So why would you? Why would you? Because, well, we've just had a global pandemic that involved a microorganism, in case you hadn't realised. Bacteria, viruses, fungi. Yeah, so viruses is one of those classic three. Um, fungi. Um, Amy did or alluded to the yeast in the jar with the balloon on the top. Yeast is a microorganism. It's similar, very similar to a fungus. So you're applying that knowledge there. Um, it's also, how do we feed global population? At the moment, um, with climate change and food security both being very significant um, political and technological drivers, there are a lot of people working in climate change and food security. Food security is made a massive difference to by microorganisms. Plants get diseases. Has anyone kept carrots in their fridge for more than a week in the last 12 months? Have you found they basically go squishy? very, very quickly. I don't know what happened and I'm a plant pathologist. Um, something has happened to the carrot world that may, means these carrots don't last as long as they used to. But that's down to diseases, it's down to microorganisms. So there are real life encounters that people can, you can refer to in your teaching. Um, those of you who want to go a bit more elaborate, um, think of Xyella and the future of where's our olive oil coming from. And you can bring in human stories about um, Italian farmers who've grown olives preciously for hundreds and hundreds of years, passed down from generation to generation. And there are clips of them online crying because their trees have to be destroyed because they've been infected with something called Xyella, which is a bacterial disease of... Um, of olive trees transmitted by a tiny little um, leaf hopper and then obviously things like um, foot and mouth disease, smallpox, um, athlete's foot, it's all microorganisms so so many contexts but we're not going to go anywhere near a microorganism with this kit so this is our UV box and you might be thinking UV hang on that's dangerous health and safety Phil this is long wave UV, which, as long as you don't go and try and sleep in this box, is perfectly safe. Now, um, could I have a volunteer? I think we can go back to this world now. Can I have a volunteer to step forward? Oh, everyone's scared of me. Thank you very much. And do you remember pre-COVID times when we used to do this? Yeah, that was great. And it was also great for this activity because one great way, as COVID has demonstrated, is by touching things, we can potentially transmit diseases. What I might, you may or may not have noticed me do, was place a tiny bit of this stuff, which is glitter bug gel, on our hands. And it's now on both my hands because I've rubbed my hands together. Where is it? Can you see where the... Gel is? Nope. If I asked all of you to look at your hands now and said, where's the microorganisms, what would you say? You wouldn't be able to see them though, would you? You'd know that they're there because you're adults and you're educated. Um, but by looking at them, you can't see them. So the hand cream mimics exactly how microorganisms behave. Um, then we step over to the box and we want to see the microorganisms. We want to find out where they are. Oh, look at that. Can people see my hands glowing? But only in certain places. Now, if 
Jill. Jill compares her left hand and her right hand. Oh, what's happened to your right hand, Jill? Got it. It's got something. And that's something you got from me because we shook hands, right hand to right hand. And then we could, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you off, Jill, to the toilets, please. And, and can you wash your hands for me? Um, you can either do the 20 second COVID approach or you can do it like most children will do it. That's your choice. <laughs> and so then you can investigate the effect of hand washing on um, their, just how good they are. Um, you'll also find um, from doing it that areas around jewellery, um, around plasters, um, embedded into the edge of nails, that's where it gets stuck and you can't get it off as easily. So really nice way in to um, thinking about disease transmission, um, the spread of disease. Um, you only need a tiny amount of this stuff. Um, it goes a long, long way and the kit's um, got lots of pots with it. It also has some useful posters. I will say, I'll give my rant about posters now while Jill's washing her hands. Um, Posters are great that they come with the kits and they enhance how you can teach the different topics and you'll say again it saves you having to buy the resources. They blend into the classroom architecture rather nicely and it'll be Claire who'll be ringing the school saying can you please return the posters. The kit will have come back and the posters will have stayed on the walls. Trust me um, that's what we've seen. That's 25 years of experience at TSN has told me you guys like posters and you like to keep them. Um, what else have we got? Oh, you've got some fluffy bugs. Yeah. I didn't. Oh, we haven't got these. Oh, have you got? No, I've seen oh. them. They're lovely. OK, yeah, essentially I talked about um, bacteria, viruses and fungi and you've got a fluffy version in, in this kit. Um, so this one's been OK for me to talk about because um, I, I am familiar with the kit. But if you're not and you want a little aid memoir together with every one of their kits, you get the kit. Um, well, you get the kit content list and you get guidance on how to use the kit. These are not lesson plans. That might be a future change, of, a future development of the kit club, if that's something you guys want to see. Um, but initially, it's going to be, these are how you could use this resource. But they're just ideas for you. You're the creative practitioners. We're providing you with the kit to actually enable these things to happen. Jill, are you brave enough to uh, see how good your hand washing has been? <laughs> of course, what I could have given you to take away, now I've found it in the kit box, is the how to wash your hands properly instruction sheet. Away you go. Have you missed any bits? Has it got stuck in the crevice between your thumb and your finger? Now that's pretty damn good. I thought you were a while. <laughs> Turn over. Yeah, nothing. Oh, you've missed a bit around your watch. <sighs> yes. <laughs> okay, so that's microorganisms. 